Welcome back, and if you need a last minute idea for Pops that, will, that he will literally eat up, well, we have just the thing, and a chef, Greg Reggio with Zia's is here to explain and help us out with that. Welcome. Good morning. Good, Good morning. morning. I think, you know, what a dad's went on Father's Day, well, it's the three B's, right? They, mm -hmm. like, they like beer, oh, they like barbecue, and they want to have their babies, their kids around uh, them. You got to yes. do that. You thought it was going to be something else, but that was it and all that. <laughs> and, you know, I think when we think of barbecue, we think of, you know, typically you have steaks or you do pork chops or something like that. And I, I say, let's take advantage of the great uh, Louisiana seafood we Perfect. have here. So this, these are actually drum fillets. Um, unfortunately, we can't get redfish in the restaurant because it's, uh, you know, it's a game fish, but drum's a great fish. These are what they call natural fillets, nice and small and the perfect mm -hmm. size for doing this method. Okay. Uh, they grill Beautiful. up great or we can do it here in, uh, in the skillet. You know, uh, I've got this great cast iron skillet over here and um, you know the problem with doing a black and red fish at home inside is it, it's a lot of a lot of heat you can see the the smoke's coming off mm -hmm. they all kind of smoke up the house so you can do this actually do this on your barbecue pit okay is there a tip for people cooking it at home to yes. to to limit the smoke because i know mm -hmm. a lot of times i try to do this in my apartment it, it's, it just it gets yes. really bad yeah there is a method of doing what we can do is uh you do have to get the skillet hot because we're actually trying to color the spices that are okay. on the fish now, the thing i find that people do mo more often than not is they put too much seasoning on this mm. you know this has salt in it and all a bunch of different uh, peppers you just want to put just a nice even layer and then just ladle a little bit of butter in it and if mm. you're doing this in hoe you still have to do this over the um, the high heat okay lay it down into the butter and then we're going to put a little more season now okay. if i was doing this inside what would happen by the time i would cook this fish especially on the second time you'd have a lot of smoke so all i would do if i'm doing it inside is i would take flip it over once the fish the um the spice gets nice and colored on here so where you actually get the Beautiful. blackening then you would take and place this into the oven wow. so only half your time would be on on the stove okay so whereas in that outside no problem at all you can have this cranked up on on your barbecue pit and you can just cook it both ways over there so how long should we cook it on each side well the first side we're looking for is strictly you're, you're trying to get the color like we see here on the, on on this fish here um, the second side all we're really trying to do is we cook it probably it's going to be about four uh, three to four minutes and what I'm looking to do is just to have where the fish is, is cooked throughout and a neat way to check fish for doneness if you push on it and it kind of gives a little bit and leaves an oh, indent it's done well, I didn't know that. people always overcook fish yeah. so what you do is you take the thickest portion if you push it, it leaves an indent it's perfectly done Okay. And that's it, real simple and all that. Now, if you don't want to do the cooking, on, come out to the restaurant. Definitely. It's my favorite, one of my favorite holidays. I'm a dad, so, but um, at the restaurant, see, we actually give, uh, every day, I get a little four-pack of our beers. That is awesome. You're going to have a lot of fathers coming. We do. Um, it's very pop. We run out of beer every year, um, but we have a, you've got a Clearview Light, which is a lighter style. This is the Category 5. It's actually a, a strong ale, 6% alcohol. Should have been a Category 6, I guess. <laughs> our most popular, the Amber, and then my favorite is the Porter. It's nice, it's dark, it's chocolatey. It's not very bitter at all. Chocolate. Wow, okay, yeah. sounds interesting. I might have to take one of these for my pops. Well, you can have it. You Alrighty. got it. Um, well, thank you again for coming, and happy thank Father's you. Day well, to thanks. you. Well, thanks. I appreciate and, it. And um, thanks again, everyone, for watching. And we'll be right back with a check of weather and a preview of what we are looking at for noon.